Hi everyone. My name is Qin Jiezhou. And I'm Sergio Agustinho. And today we will be presenting our work Is Geometry Enough for Matching in Visual Localization? This is done in collaboration with Alyosha Osep and Laura Lia Taishe. Given a query image, the task of localization is to estimate its camera pose with respect to the environment. The current state-of-the-art solution for this problem are structure-based localization methods. They establish correspondences between image key points and the 3D scene points by matching their associated visual descriptors. Despite being highly accurate, these localization systems encounter several practical challenges when deployed to real-life large-scale applications. First of all, relying on visual descriptors makes the system demanding in storage. For example, storing per point descriptors takes up to one terabyte for megadeps, while keeping all of the 3D points only occupies 3.44 gigabytes. To reduce such storage requirements, compression can be done by keeping a subset of the 3D points and quantizing the associated descriptors. Secondly, Localization systems following a server-client model might expose the descriptors during transmission, which can lead to privacy leaks given the emerging descriptor inversion techniques. To mitigate this issue, recent work developed descriptors that are more robust against privacy attacks. Finally, with the ongoing advances in local features, Continuously upgrading scene descriptors as well as supporting cross-device matching are both foreseeable demands. To avoid rebuilding the map to update descriptors, recent work proposed to directly transform the existing ones to the new ones. Instead of working around with visual descriptors, we propose to perform geometric-based matching to directly sidestep this need. This allows us to address the three practical challenges at once and design more scalable, large-scale localization systems in the future. Our work builds upon other joint geometric-based matching and post-solver approaches. These either required good initialization, relied on globally optimal solvers with prohibitive runtime budgets, or simply cannot handle the usual presence of matching outliers, making them unsuitable for practical visual localization. This project sets its goal on making geometric-based matching a viable and reliable solution for visual localization. To that effect, GoMatch builds upon BPNP-Net and significantly outperforms it, tackling its weakness in handling outlier matches head-on. BPNP-Net originally computes features for its 2D and 3D key points with independent feature extractors followed by subsequent matching inside a Synchorn layer. We replace the 3D database key points with their bearing vectors when projected to co-visible reference views. This is remarkably more robust than direct cross-modal matching. We then followed with using a single encoder. The most impactful change was the introduction of self and cross attention between both branches. Attention mitigated the lack of contextual information between geometric features. We also added a correspondence level outlier rejection module to filter out low quality correspondences after still noticing the presence of wrong assignments hindering the later stages of pose estimation. And finally, our last improvement came from increasing the number of co-visible views retrieved from the database. GoMatch exhibits nice generalization properties. Despite being trained with outdoor data and using SIFT-based detections, the same model can be transferred and used out of the box with indoor data like in seven scenes, or with an entirely different set of detections like the ones coming from SuperPoint. We compare our method to common visual localization benchmarks in both the indoor seven scenes dataset and outdoor Cambridge landmarks dataset. In this figure, we represent different categories of visual localization methods with a unique color. We can see that different categories of methods make trade-offs between accuracy, storage, privacy preservation, and descriptor maintenance. GoMatch brought geometric matching from a situation where it was simply not usable in visual localization to a state where it is now competitive with end-to-end pose regression methods. When focusing on the comparison with visual matching methods, we see that this category of approaches optimizes for accuracy, they compromise on privacy vulnerability, and relatively involve descriptor maintenance operations. GoMatch provides a solution to both at the cost of accuracy, in most cases requiring significantly less storage to work with the same scene. And finally, for end-to-end -end approaches, GoMatch is competitive against state-of-the-art multi-scene post-regression methods, trading off the accuracy from scene regression with increased generalization and lower storage. Thank you for watching and see you at ECCV.